So, hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm just going to be doing a quick review of this new scale I got. It's a precision scale designed for accuracy. So, what that means is its capacity is going to be very low, but it's going to be very accurate. I am recording with an iPad today, so sorry if the camera quality is different. And this is actually very awkward to record with because it's so large and does not stand up well. But anyways, this is made by AWS, which I believe is the American something something. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. I think it's American weight something. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you can see the box is very flashy, looks pretty nice. I got mine in black. You can get a stainless steel edition, silver one, I believe. You can see here all the features. So it is a very accurate scale. You have a 10 year warranty, 0 0.01 gram accuracy, 100 gram maximum capacity. That may seem low, but for a scale this big and with this much accuracy, it's pretty good. It has a protective cover and it includes two AAA batteries. So we're going to open it up, take a look at it. Set the box aside there. It says made in China on the box. <laughs> no, it's by. The, I could swear this was an American company. <laughs> what a surprise. But, anyways, you can see top cover. Outside is black plastic. Feels pretty nice. I'm gonna open it up. Show you what the top cover says. Here are your instructions. And the actual scale part is stainless steel. Be sure not to accidentally press on it because it could damage it. So we're going to turn it on. Came with batteries installed. Alright, and then I'll set this on the table. Well, I will restart it. Because you're going to want to start it when it's on a flat surface. Okay, so I have a calibration weight here. I'm going to weigh it. This is 100 grams. Okay. Try it again. So it's, this time's perfect. You can see it's extremely accurate. I'm actually going to go show you while we're here how to calibrate it. So if it comes off, you have a calibration weight and it says it's off. What you're going to do is hold down mode. Oh, well, while we're at it, I might as well show you. It has grams, ounces, and grains. And whatever that stands for. So once again, how to calib calibrate it, hold mode down. Until you see that, click it once. So it'll start flashing. And it'll show you the required weight to calibrate it with. So I'll put my 100 gram calibration weight on. And we're good. So now we're going to weigh this weight, and it should say exactly 100. Yeah, we're good. Okay, and then if it's off, you could always uh, click the tear button, tar button, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so to test how truly accurate this is, I have some BBs here, which are, as you know, very light and must be preci very precise to measure them. First, the brighter white one I have here. This is a 0.2 gram BB, so we're going to put it on, see what it reads. Stay on. No, it will not stay on. I'm going to move the scale to the center of the table because that seems to be more flat. There you go, it stayed on. You can see barely off, just a tiny bit. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And then 0.25. Okay. There we go. Just a tiny bit off, which is expectable. Is that expectable? Is that even a word? Except ex expected for a scale that only cost twelve dollars. You heard me right. This thing cost around twelve to thirteen dollars on Amazon. Which is very nice. And it does have a cover to protect it. Holy crap, that lighting focus thingy. And um 
it does have an automatic shutoff for 60 seconds with no use. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.